It's certainly a pleasure to be here today, and thank you for your uh, great turnout and support of the seniors. Uh, it's been great uh, all year long, and this is uh, what a way to finish it up, so appreciate that. Uh, just a couple words about Ed Podolak. I, I still think one of my favorite stories about Ed Podolak is we've all seen the public Ed Podolak, but I'll never forget in the 80s. Uh, we had a prospect on campus who was interested in studying real estate, and I ended up in, in the office of uh, Associate Dean Ernie Zuber. And uh, he was talking to the young man about uh, real estate here, studying real estate. And, and I'll never forget, he made a comment. He says, Ed Podolak's the finest real estate student he had ever seen come through here. And, and I, I didn't react, you know, visually, but I'm thinking, Ed Podolak? <laughs> Certainly. Uh, so, a little bit down the road, I came back to and I asked him, I said, you know, you made that comment for the recruit. I said, tell me about that. And then he wanted to tell me what a, what a brilliant student Ed was. And uh, I'll never forget that because that, that's, uh, I've been around players like that before that have one personality or persona, uh, but also took care of business uh, in a way maybe you didn't expect. And, uh, you know, I think uh, now that I've had a chance to really work with Ed closely, over the last 13 years, I've certainly seen that side. I think anybody who's heard him talk about football uh, knows that you know, he knows more than what's just going on there, uh, following the ball around, that type of thing. And the other part about it is, uh, you know, I've been in this uh, business and spent six years in the NFL, and I've seen some analysts that can be uh, uh, a little bit uh, devious or whatever, you know, take opportunities to uh, be critical, what have you. I'll tell you, no, nobody's been more supportive uh, than Ed Podolak and Gary Dolphin through the years. And uh, through, through the 13 years being back, I'll tell you, we've developed a great, great friendship. I'm just so appreciative for what Ed does for this university. And uh, I, think you, I think you all know just what the program means to him. Uh, but that, that streak goes both ways. What he means to our program is invaluable. So, yeah, we're so happy that uh, things are going so well for you. Great to have you I just thought it would be a lot of fun to coach, and then, you know, you might have to worry about them a little bit on the weekends, but uh, not now, not now, right? The spirit uh, that he has, and that's what great players have, so we're just so lucky. Thanks again, Ed. Uh, I also want to thank, uh, certainly, uh, Ann and the iClub, and Ann, what a great job you've done all season. It's amazing how quickly it's gone, and it's, it's hard to believe this is our last home game, but uh, appreciate all of your efforts, everybody in the iClub has supported this breakfast event. Band, Spirit Squad, Dance Team, just uh, thank you. You guys racked up on the door prizes once again. <laughs> Turned out to finish the season up in great form. So, uh, congratulations there. Uh, I've got a lot of people to introduce today. I'm, I'm going to get right to that. I uh, just want to start out with our staff. We've got a tremendous staff. I say it every time I get the opportunity. They're great, great people. Uh, obviously, excellent football coaches, but it goes well beyond that. They're great teachers, great mentors for our, our people in the program. and. Uh, I consider myself extremely fortunate to get work, work with such a great uh, group of folks uh, on a daily basis. And uh, between the staff and, and our players, that's really the highlight of my job and has been for a long, long time. So, uh, very appreciative. And if you could hold your applause, I'll just ask them to stand and be recognized. Uh, our offensive coordinator, Ken O'Keefe, is here to my right, or on the right. Uh, Norm Parker is here with a lot of his family in from Michigan, our defensive coordinator. Phil Parker. Our defensive secondary coach, uh, Norm having to work at Michigan State, and Phil's a Michigan State grad, a little uh, tie in there. Darrell Wilson, linebackers and special teams. Rick Kaczynski, our defensive line coach. Reese Morgan, offensive line coach. Lester Herb, running backs coach. Eric Johnson, recruiting coordinator and tight ends coach. Eric Campbell, our receivers coach. Charlie Bowman, our defensive grad assistant and a graduate of Iowa Business School. David Rye, another graduate of Business School and our offensive graduate assistant. Our two student assistants, uh, Austin Showalter and Tyler Anderson. We've got Scott Southman, who's in charge of our quality control. Does a lot of things for us behind the scene. Our strength and conditioning staff, Chris Dwell, is in the back there. Ray Brakeway. Chad Cracklow, I didn't see Grant, I'm up here, okay, and uh, Dustin Baffey, also here, and then moving down, we got Chick Ichiazzi, who uh, heads up our player development program, LeVar Woods, who assists 
Scott Southman, two more Iowa grads right there. And moving down the list, we've got Matt Engelbert in the building somewhere, I believe, our video coordinator. And I'm sure in the back of the room or in the hallway, John Street, where he's probably taking the basketball team's ankles right now, something like that. He's splitting duties right now, just like Gary Dolphin. And uh, yeah, you just talk about a person like John Street and, and uh, what makes Iowa unique. And uh, I'll throw this in too. Uh, about five, six years ago, we were playing up at Minnesota. John Alt was on the sidelines. We called him, got a sideline pass. Speaking of another great Kansas City Chief, he called Monday to thank me about uh, just for you know getting him on the sidelines. He made a real interesting observation. John's from the Twin Cities and been recruited very heavily by Minnesota. This is back in the dome. And he said, I looked across the field at Minnesota sidelines. There wasn't one person I recognized. And he says, on our sidelines, uh, he mentioned people like John Street and uh, uh, Mike Reagan's drives our equipment, all that type of thing. You think about guys like Ed Plow, like Gary Dolph and their association with the program, and it's great to have Pump Elliott here with us too. Coach, great to see you again. So just talk about the uh, lineage and, and traditions of this program. I guess what makes it so, so special. So please a round of applause for all these. Uh, Uh, just a couple uh, words about last week and this week, certainly. Uh, you know, it was a great, great crowd, number one. We came out and the, the stadium was just uh, absolutely fantastic. And uh, the fans did a great job all the way through. And the uh, players certainly did the same thing. They, they uh, played with great energy last Saturday against a very, very good football team. And uh, I think it's uh, easy to say it was collectively our, our best uh, effort out there uh, on the field, offensively, defensively, and special teams. And that, that's really uh, how good football teams play. So. Uh, real credit to our players for the way they bounced back and the way they responded last week. And, you know, obviously we've got a big challenge ahead of us. I also just want I didn't uh, introduce Paul Federici. He's floating around here somewhere. He's out front when it all came in. Uh, our director's uh, director of operations. Uh, Fed had the idea last week of uh, senior day being tomorrow. Uh, we wanted to recognize the veterans last week, and, and uh, that was the idea behind the uh, decal, American flag decal on one side. And, uh, leaving a blank side on the other side. And that was Paul's idea. He came to me a couple months ago and uh, certainly is our way just to pay tribute to all the veterans. So again, we all are very appreciative of their service. Uh, thank you. <laughs> and another highly ranked team. I think Michigan's 13th last week. Michigan State comes in the same way. They've got an excellent football team. It's, it's been a great series over the last uh, 13 years, certainly. And uh, like Michigan, they're very good. They're, they're uh, a different style of team, offensively and defensively, uh, yet they're like Michigan in that they have a program, a system that they believe in, and when you watch film, uh, if they are what they are, they're, they're very good at it. So it's a, a different kind of challenge, yet uh, very much the same type of challenge, and this is a very good team. They've got great size, speed, athleticism, and uh, they've got a lot of veteran players on their team as well. So, uh, you know, we're certainly looking forward to uh, this challenge. Uh, our captains, again, are Tyler Nielsen, Mike Daniels on the defensive side, and Mark McNutt and James Vandenberg on the offensive side, they've done a great job. And, and it's uh, coincidental, uh, but Ed Bodelak up until this weekend has been the only repeat honorary captain that we've ever had. It's 2 0, by the way. Uh, two outstanding talks. Two outstanding talks. And uh, Dan Gable's situation was interesting. You know, he was our honorary captain last year for the last home game. And uh, the team that we played had that, that game, I think, taken off their books, so he doesn't have an official result. Uh, I'll let you figure out the details on that one. I'm not going down that road. But uh, anyway, we thought it was appropriate to, to bring Dan Gable back. And, and uh, I mentioned a couple weeks ago, one of the highlights of my time here at Iowa, my 20 plus years, was uh, attending the Gable School event last, uh, last spring. You know, that's just uh, absolutely unbelievable what Dan's impact has been as a competitor and as a coach uh, and continues to have an impact on the sport of wrestling. And, and, and well beyond that, well beyond that. So it's really an honor to have Dan Gable uh, back with us. And obviously, uh, playing Michigan State, we've got a great challenge in front of us, but a great opportunity. So we're, we're looking forward to that. Uh, now, now, you know.